Hello and welcome to another Nikkei Goddess of Victory card unboxing today with the gunmetal cards from Algonon product. Algonon is a company that produces a lot of merchandise for Nikkei. They do wall scrolls, they also produce the acrylic stands. And yeah, this is not the first release of, uh, of this box. I did miss the first release or I think I was probably broke as always when the first box released and I wasn't able to get it. Uh, and yeah, they reprinted it together with the second volume. Uh, the second volume has released now too, but I haven't gotten it yet. I just got the the first volume now. But yeah, funny story is that I I had this pre-ordered, but I did cancel it because I I wasn't sure if I still have a job next month. But it turns out I do have. So yeah, after I got the the notice that I still have a job, I immediately ordered this uh, box again since I really wanted to to see how the cards look and yeah from the card size I would say they do have Yu-Gi-Oh size like these oh these are the bigger sleeves no are they even smaller than Yu-Gi-Oh no they should have they should have Yu-Gi-Oh size I don't have Yu-Gi-Oh cards to compare I just have a ZX that X has the Magic, the Gathering, or Pokemon size. So, yeah, these are smaller. And they are called Metal Cards. But, yeah, from the front, they only look plastic. Uh, they are not, there's not anything going on holographic-wise. The uh, surface looks nice. Like, with these plastic cards, it's very easy that these cards get scratches on in production. There's like one dot in the in the surface, but quality wise it looks fine. And yeah, the back of the card, this is damaged or what is it? So the back of the card is holographic and there's like cold foil, I would say, or metal foiling. But turns out Marion's head or yeah, you know, the hair got scratched or damaged. I don't think I did it. But yeah, let's let's hope the other cards turns out nice. So we have basically the 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 poses of the Nikes when they are in, in the battle stand. So back and front. And yeah, we get the full pose like in in Union Arena. Okay, in Union Arena, uh, when you got the battle pose, uh, it was basically cut off. Like the frame of the artwork was uh, cut off before the, the good parts. So yeah, they did it intentionally. Here we get the, the full view of Santi here and we get the name also. And this looks like a special pull since the, the lettering is fractured in foil. That's cute. Goddess of Victory Nike. It's probably from the event. Yeah, I wasn't playing when this event because there is, she's like a, SR character is like a polar beer. And this should be Rupe and Emma. Yeah, I, I wasn't playing when this uh, event hit, unfortunately. So I don't own the, the polar beer character. How oh, cute. So in, in total, we have 50 different cards. It's also like stated on the. Yeah, and I, I will get one second box later, but yeah, I I cannot finish the whole set. And I don't think I can afford to buy more into it, to be honest. Since uh, at the end of the year, we will get a, a Nike Goddess of Victory set in Weiss Schwarz. And I, I basically, okay, have to start saving for that. Okay, we've got Uni, and yeah, looks like we just got. Oh no! Yeah, I I see more scratches. That's not nice. So as I said, it's pretty easy to damage these kinds of surfaces, and with my my Bandai metallic cards, I was super happy. I didn't saw like any manufacturing damage <laughs> signal. And Jackal. Oh, I still do need her. 
I think she is like strong in PvP, if I remember it correctly. But I like the color design of this character. I like this pink and this bluish, bluish green tone is nice. And yeah, the, the foiling looks fine too. Maybe it tends to look a bit dark on camera, on my camera, but in reality it's it's nice looking. But yeah, the metallic foiling is like very, very, uh, yeah, can very easily get damaged. And uh, we get D and okay, Rapunzel. Okay, and now even the front is holographic. So maybe there are like no rarities, but she's a pilgrim, so is special and yeah the the lettering and also the background is foiled maybe this is like a special treatment for the for the pilgrims maybe even the pilgrims are harder to pull looking at the card gallery we do have is this the first set yeah yeah we do have a few more pilgrims don't think we have or, or do we have all of them? Uh, Julia and Helm in the. I think this is like a, a special outfit. It's not her regular outfit because I do own the character, but not in this uh, special special outfit. So in total, we should get like. 10. I haven't counted it, but I have the product page next to me. We get 10 packs, two cards per pack, so only 20. 20 cards, and I just hope we don't get duplicates in the box. Lapless and Guilty. Guilty is nice. I don't know if she's like the strongest of the Nikis you can choose from, from prison, but I, I did pick her because. Uh, of design of the futures features <laughs> she looks nice let's say like it is and mary also in her like swimsuit outfit oh and isabel also foiled and holographic but yeah artwork wise i, I like so compared to bandai maybe if you have watched my bandai unboxing where I complain that I, I don't like horizontal artworks. But yeah, I do like that these cards are yeah regular, like oh not in this landscape format. So this is something I do like. I don't like that some of these cards were like damaged on the oh yeah. Like I'm very like <laughs> critical when it comes to card manufacturing quality and you can see there's another scratch <laughs> so yeah maybe if you if you don't care so much like i about damaged oh blank uh but compared to like the bandai the bandai box in the bandai box you get okay you get every everything like the whole set with one box here is more a little bit of gambling so maybe if you you're into that <laughs> this box is more for you and yeah of course like the the regular card design i do like a lot uh, i think they need uh, they need yukio sized sleeves if you want to sleeve them and milk oh and snow white yes so yeah i guess all the the pilgrims get like the special oil treatment and yeah, I hope uh, in, in this week the second volume arrives too. And then I will also like, maybe I will do like another video in which I will open both boxes, volume one and two. And yeah, let's hope I don't get a lot of duplicates. Uh, please let me know what do you think about this uh, product, about these cards. We got one special card. There are four, no, there are five of these special cards. So if you don't get duplicates, which is yeah difficult, but I, I think there's only like maybe one per box would be like my guess now. But yeah, thanks for watching. See you in my next unboxing. Bye.